what is the product formed in the following reaction and determine the stereochemistry of the reactants and products. First, let us determine the stereochemistry of the reactants. Since the hydrogens are going into the page, we can directly label the groups on the chiral atoms from highest to lowest priority. The chiral carbon bonded to the bromine is R, and the chiral carbon bonded to the methyl has an S configuration. Place charges on the molecules. Identify the electrophile and nucleophile. Acetone is the solvent. The negatively charged nucleophile attacks the delta positively charged carbon on the electrophile. Use arrows to show the flow of electrons. This shows the electrons from the sulfur are forming a new sulfur carbon sigma bond, and the electrons from the carbon bromine sigma bond are transferred to the bromine atom. The nucleophile must attack from the back side of the carbon leaving group sigma bond. In the transition state, bonds are forming and breaking. The nucleophile is forming a new sulfur carbon sigma bond, and at the same time, the carbon leaving group sigma bond is breaking. Thus, a stereogenic carbon is inverted and a trans product is formed. Notice the green labeled electrons from the sulfur have now formed a new carbon sulfur bond, and the blue carbon bromine sigma bond electrons are now on the bromide ion. The stereochemistry of the carbon with the methyl branch did not change because no reaction occurred there. However, the stereochemistry of the chiral center has. Since the hydrogen is on the top of the molecule, let's flip the molecule over so the lowest priority is at the back. Prioritize and we see that the chiral carbon now has an S configuration. Thus the product is B, trans 1, ethylthiol 3 methylcyclopentane and we see the chiral carbon where the SN2 reaction took place has been inverted.